What's up, citizens, and welcome to A Star Citizen Reacts or Gives Commentary. What we're going to be doing today is walking around the showroom floor of the 2953 Invictus Launch Week, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the current state of all the ships on display. So, let's get into it. I don't want to have to do a lot of editing in this one because I want to go live, and I want to go back live again and do the Make It Fit series, record that. So, I'm... I'm Moving this one along. Oh, yes. All the NPCs standing. Praying to the east, I guess. Uh, so, we got the two open rooms over there to the back and right left. And we got down below. The two in the rear are closed off. Let's take a look. So, the first thing we have here is the Ares Inferno. Ares Inferno. So... The Ares Inferno and the Ares Ion are in a really, really shit place right now, in my opinion. They're not the best ships at taking out hammerheads in the verse. They're not the most efficient ships at doing ERTs. They're not the best at what they're supposed to do. Very disappointed. I still own mine. I'm not going to melt them because I think that they over nerfed them. They kind of panicked. And this is what we got for now, but I have faith that a final balance pass will restore the glory on what these ships are supposed to be. I think I should be able to effectively take out a hammerhead solo with this, and there shouldn't be a ship better than this. Hey, if it's as good as the Connie at it, sure. But there's too much bloom, and there's no aim assist for both of these. But I do love the idea of these ships 100%. So we've got the Hercules series here now. Let's start with the one on the left, the A2 Bomber. Let's go. Love the A2 Bomber. Fun fact, I think that this is a more effective gunboat than the Hammerhead. I really do. I think I'd rather be in this than the Hammerhead right now. Because you could just do a lot more, right? I mean, the gunner, the, the pilot just has to pitch up a little bit. And, and you'll be good. You'll be good. Love the A2. This is the Bomber variant. So the main difference inside is when you go in you'll see where the bombs are dropped. Great for crashing a jump town conga line. Really great for that. However, the crew that I roll with during JT has never been defeated by an A2 bomb, never had a, a single load defeated by an A2 bomb in the last two jump towns. So really proud of that. We've got the C2 variant. Love this one. I own this one personally myself. This is the cargo variant. So it's got a full cargo hold with no compromises who so you pretty much fill up everything in here fun fact i think there's actually i think this walkway right here doesn't your cargo doesn't go in that but everything else does it also has less weapons a lot less than the a2 of course the a2 is crazy that's like a size five those are two size fours two size fours size five two size fours, something like that. I could be wrong. And then there's one at the back. It's ridiculous. It's got guns for days. Yeah, love it, love it. The M2 is the military variant. And the difference inside, even though it may look like a C2, it actually has less cargo space. Uh, I guess, I think the idea is that with the extra armor that it has, it can't also have that carry that much cargo. I guess that's the, the lore reason why you can't but the same amount of cargo space. So the C2 has 696 SCU of cargo space. The A2 has somewhere around like 300 mid threes. And the M2 has like, it's in the, the mid to low fives on cargo space. So definitely a lot, that, that extra, the extra little bit that it has will make a huge difference. Make a huge difference when you're trading. You need every little bit of cargo that you have to maximize your profits. All right, let's head downstairs first. Sure, why not? Heading down to the bottom floor. We don't have anything in our first pod here. And nothing in that one either, either. Just sitting areas. Okay. Coming around the hall here, we have the Spirit Series. Looks like we got the A1 Spirits here. This is the bomber variant of the Freelancer Killer. Let's go. When this ship was first announced in its concept sale, I was kind of on hiatus, so I don't really know much about it. I know you guys are really excited about replacing your freelancers with it. So I would love to see a Crusader answer to the freelancer in the verse. That would be pretty dope. Probably one of the best looking ships that I've seen in concept or flyable. 
hands down. Gotta love the Spirit Series. That's his A1 too. Okay, they're both A1s. All right, so the C1 and the E1 must be over here. Nope. All right, excuse me. Vanilla Ice, A1. Okay, all right, whatever. This is the bomber variant. There's gonna be a passenger carrier variant, a cargo variant, and a bomber variant. You can't really see it in very much detail, but from what you can see, it's it's definitely a, be a beautiful ship. We've been here before with my first look with the Freelancer, or Freelancer, with the Fury series. Oh, look at it, boys. You guys want to see my naked fit? I'm probably live right now. If you watched this video when it first dropped, I'm probably live right now. Head over to Twitch, or I think I'm, I'm going to be live on YouTube with the two. We're going to be shoving this thing in types of all types of things, seeing how many can fit and having a blast. So I hope to see you guys here for that. To the left here, we have the Misk Fury. This variant comes with four size two weapons. Or, uh, size two weapons? Yeah, size two weapons and four size two missiles. Yeah, so love the idea of this ship. I, I can't wait. I know it doesn't have a quantum drive. I was really bummed about that the first time that I saw it, but I'm actually, I'm actually okay with it now. I'm okay with it now. I'm just gonna put this in all my ships. Can't wait till you can easily load it in the cargo hold too, like just from the ASOP terminal will be really nice. All the components can be open from the outside. I love it. This is the snub fighter variant. Then we've got the bomber variant over here, which crazy enough, doesn't have any guns. No guns. Can you believe it? Let's go ahead and enter it. I actually want to show you guys the blast shield on this. It's pretty cool. Deploy the blast shield, baby. Look at that. It looks pretty cool. I love it. Love it. I can't wait to see what it looks like with it on. But you can't turn on the display, so. Instead of weapons, it has 20 missiles. Two, four, six, eight of them size one. The rest are size two. Next up, we have the LX. The Misk Razor LX. EX. 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 So this is, they call this the military variant. Oh, the stealth variant. Yes. It's a stealth variant. Dope. So it's the stealth variant of a racing ship. Honestly. And it's Mirai now. I was, I was about to say, like, they could make this a Mirage ship. It is now. Let's see if they actually change the, the badging. Oh, the Stealth Variant doesn't have the badges. Mirage Fury MX is the name of it. You could, uh, you could tell up there on the, uh, on the HUD. All right, here we go. The ugliest, worst ship in the game, Tanacultus. Leave the video now. <laughs> this is the Misk Reliant Tana. This is a starter ship offered by Misk. One thing I, you got to do is replace this with the size, the, with the two size two weapons. I believe they're size twos. I think this is two size threes. You definitely want to take, get the Tashima turrets and mount the two weapons on that. And this ship is really good if you just want to sit there and let stuff come to you and you blow it up. Hopefully you survive. Hopefully you survive. Don't try to turn or anything though. Too complicated for it does have living quarters, one or two SCU of cargo, weapon storage. This part of it, love it. Cockpit, love it. Articulating part, love it. Co-pilot being able to control the one of the turrets, love it. That, that feature might be broken right now, I think. I don't remember. But I don't like the way the, look, the ship looks, and I don't like its flight characteristics. I really do hate it. And I don't think anybody should buy it. I think you should get a, an Avenger Titan if you want a, a nice starter ship. Now we got the Misk Freelancer Miss, the missile variant of the Freelancer. A little bit less cargo hold than the regular Freelancer. Components in the hull. You can't open these up yet, but you will soon, I hope. So I can steal them from people. You got missile silos for the huge amount of missiles it's got a stupid amount of missiles i can't remember exactly but a lot of missiles more cargo space and full-on living quarters just like the rest of uh of the freelancer series that you're familiar with i like the the miss freelancer miss um 
Yeah, I like it. I think it's a good ship. I'm not a, a DDMTA or a damn dirty missile throwing ape, but you got to love you, a freelancer miss. This is the Starfarer Gemini, the military variant of the Starfarer. Massive weapons all the way around. This is the military refueler. Military refueler. I'm not going to walk around this. Uh, if you want to know more about this ship, uh, there's plenty of content out there revolving around it. But this is like a, a it's like a mobile FPS. I would love to see like people do boarding uh, runs, like uh, mock boarding runs with, with their org. And, and figuring out how to like take the bridge on the ship like this, it's so cool. It also has a captain's chair, like Star Trek. Engage. Let's go. Oh, surprise, surprise. The FA Lightning is going to be here all week. Insane, boys. Insane. Does that top turret look different than it normally does? This is the FA Lightning. It's a light fighter, or a heavy fighter, I'm sorry, with. Of just an, an appalling amount of weapons. Appalling amount of weapons. This, of course, is the military variant of it. The one that we'll have, I think we'll have a, a couple less weapons. Our final expo hall here. Oh, yeah. You know what? This ship does deserve its own room. This would be the ship I would live in if I lived in the verse. 100% for sure. Everyday driver when I need to like carry around land vehicles and stuff. I've been using this a lot with the new salvaging mechanics where you can take weapons and stuff off. Love this shit, man. Super fast in, in one direction. It's beautiful. Asymmetric. Do I need to say anything else? Not very good at combat. Doesn't have very, a, a very good armament of weapons. But gotta love this ship. Decent amount of cargo hold space. Enough room to tow around a couple land vehicles. You will be able to fit a Mirai Fury in here. Gotta love it. It's got a whole underbelly. It's supposed to be like hidden. The doors and everything were open, but somebody already opened them. But yeah, you could just get it. Just walk around the ship like this. Like here, let's go to the, let's go near the bridge. Let's do it. Whoop. Wait, what's that? Where am I here? Server room? Uh, is that as far to the north as I can go? Recreate. Let's just, let's just get out here. You can actually open this by taking a chest piece from here. And I believe setting it on that coaster. It has to be, has to be the right chest piece. Pretty dope. Love this ship. It needs an exit from here. You need to be able to get out of the ship from here. I just want to walk. I almost got out. You need to be able to walk walk out of the ship from there. For sure. Weapon storage. Captain shares. Love it. It's kind of got like an 80s vibe to like the cockpit, you know? Like if this was designed in the 80s. Love it, man. This is one of my favorite ships in the verse. Hands, hands, hands down. Right now, it doesn't really have very much of a purpose. Got your two turret accesses here. This is the server room. This will be able to run data. That's why it doesn't really have much of a purpose right now because we don't yet have data running in the game. But once we get data running, yeah, it's gonna be on. It's gonna be on. This is like a scanning room. Also has access to the underbelly here too. Love it. This is where you take Tana owners, you strap them to this, and you, you, you torture them all the heresy all right so we just got done walking around the showroom floor let's go ahead and get into the content of release on the website as well as the pledge store so let's watch this invictus launch week 2953 oh it's ultra wide Ish. In a galaxy so vast, can one person make an impact? 
How do we rise above? Through camaraderie and competition, we coalesce. In our darkest hours, when all seems hopelessly lost, and in our proudest moments, we find in each other strength, hope, solidarity, the courage to leave the familiar behind in pursuit of the next great adventure. One person can cool. make an impact. Oh, you guys saw the but new together, man vehicle back there? We are capable of greatness. Each of us, part of something bigger. One galaxy. One empire. United in purpose. Okay, let's get into the next thing, which is the Mirai Fury trailer. Let's go, boys. Let's, I'm excited about this ship, actually. We're about to have a lot of fun today. Get, make sure you guys are, uh, if you're watching this right now on YouTube, like, like minutes after it released, um, I'm probably live doing a Make It Fit right now. Where we're shoving this thing in everything, a bunch of them. Let's go. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Just bought two in your hype. All right, all right. We gotta... If you push something to its absolute limit, a body, a weapon, gravity itself, does it break or does it break through? Power beyond expectation. Class-defying maneuverability. Transformative integration of Xi'an tech and design. A revelation in short-range combat. Unleash the fury. <laughs> Only for Mirai. Ooh. Boys, hold on, I gotta go back. What the fuck was that maneuver this dude pulled off? Absolute limit. A body. A weapon. Gravity. Ain't no is now followed. Does it break? Or does it break through? Power beyond expectation. Class what was the maneuver that I saw that I was like. Oh yeah, get the fuck out of here. Of Xi'an tech and design. A revelation in short. Dude, can you imagine how good the cinematic tra um, set pieces are gonna be in Squadron 42 with people like this making trailers, my dudes? The Fury. Boys. Dude, people are gonna be fucking impulsing their way all around the verse, man, <laughs> to fly that ship. All right, so we just got done with our walkthrough of the showroom floor. Let's check the pledge store. So it is Misk, Mirai, and Crusader Day today. And let's see what we got. We've got the A1 Spirit. Admittedly, I have not educated myself on this ship. I was like not playing the game and not really making content at the time that this went into concept. So I missed a lot of info about it. From what you guys are saying, it's a freelancer, like, you know, from Crusader, which is dope. It looks really good. It's probably one of the most pretty ships that I've seen in concept or flight ready. Love the Crusader design lane. It was definitely my favorite. 175 seems like a fair price, I guess, for what you get here. But yeah, I'm excited to see the A1, the A, the A series, the one series, whatever you call it. In the verse. It seems they seem pretty cool. Next up, we got the A2 Hercules. A2 Hercules, 750 bucks. That is a lot of money. However, I think it might be a better gunboat than the Hammerhead. Um, don't you can buy it 
to uh, drop t- uh, bombs on uh, on Jump Town. However, that shit doesn't work against our crew. We're 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 o we're we're o for we uh, we're undefeated at JT against A two bombs. Can't can't happen. Can't happen. Just just move. Just leave when you when when your teammate says that there's an A two coming. Just leave. But if you want to crash a conga line party, let's go. This is how you do it. The 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 conga line crashing ship. Let's go. Aries Inferno. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for what you get currently in the game. I still own both of them, and I won't melt them for a while. I think that they can come back from where they're at. They over nerfed it, and I think they'll eventually fix it when they go through another pass. But that is a that's a lot of money. You could get a Connie and do better against ERTs. You can better support Xeno Threat with a Connie. And it doesn't even make sense. It just doesn't. C2. I guess a decent price considering it's the Cargo King right now. Love this ship. We're about to load it up with Furies later on the day. So head to my Twitch channel. I'm probably live right now if you're watching this. Loading this thing up with, with, with Furies and loading up other ships. We're making them fit in wherever they'll go. All right? M2 is the military variant of the C2, basically. Has a, a little bit more weapons. Has more armor at the cost of less cargo space. This one isn't for me. I'd rather just either go full military with the A2 or go with the C2. But I've already talked about that on the showroom floor, so let's keep moving. If everybody always asks me, like, what's my favorite ship? There's a lot of answers to that question. This is the one that I would live in if... I lived in the verse. Like if I was like, or like if it was real, you know, this would be the one. And I think 250 bucks is worth, 260 bucks is worth it. Um, great for toting around vehicles. All right. Oh, that's right. Only military ships are available today. So you don't get the other, a the other one series ships. The C2, I guess, is still considered military, I guess. Because you can move around heavy cargo, like a bunch of tonks. Okay. A2 upgrade, Warbond Daily Deal. You can upgrade to the A2 and get the Warbond price. Nice. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. I was kind of hoping that they would release this. Oh. My bad. I thought they were releasing... Like JPEGs of the images that somebody made here. They're really cool. Really like them. All right. So we got special offers. We got Invictus shirts and hats for in game use. You can get the Crusader complete pack for $2,800. Bucks, $3,100. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Warbond, $2,700. And not Warbond, $3,100. This is, these are all concierters. Yeah. So if you don't see this on your pledge store, then. It's because you're not concierge. You got to spend about a thousand dollars to get to concierge, and then we got various Crusader uh, gear, all right? And that's it for Crusader Mirai. So they have their own tab in this. Okay, we already we just watched the trailer, reacted to that Fury and the Fury MX Shatter the Limits. Let's go. I've already watched the trailer. Ooh, look at that image, boys. That uh, TIE Fighter. I mean, <clears throat> Misk Fury. Next Gen Skirmisher. Overwhelming Force. If you guys are wondering if I think you should buy this, fuck yeah, I'm buying both of them. Um, I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. I can't wait. I don't care that it doesn't have a quantum drive, boys. Look at that. Freelancer Max. Confirmed. Um, that's odd. I can't go to the next picture. Okay. Factory. Oh, look at, look at the skins. Templar. Wasteland. Whatever that, that says. Red. And Leatherback. Nice, dude. Look at the red one. Okay, what's the most TIE fighter looking one? The stock. Okay. And, of course, that skin can be applied to all of them. So, Invictus Launch Week, Concierge, 50 bucks. You can get a twin pack for 95 saving you 
five dollars. Fury quad pack for one eighty five. What the fuck? Formation pack plus the leatherback paint skin. It's a four eight twelve a twelve pack. <laughs> well, if you want a bunch of LTI tokens, there you go, boys. Right there. You'll also be able to actually loan your ship to people in the verse at some point in its development. Warbond offers 50 bucks, $95 for the double pack. Quad pack, nice. Okay, $55 standalone if you use if you um if you use store credit. I like how they do credit offers. I like that. Twin pack 105. Fury quad pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 205. And then you got all the paints in one pack for 16 bucks. Okay, okay. All right. And you can upgrade to it. People were talking about you can't upgrade to it. You can confirm. You can confirm upgrade to it. You just have to have a ship that's worth less than it. So I can upgrade. Shit, I'll probably upgrade one of my um, my Merlins that I have from... Um, how much would that cost, actually? Let me look at that. I'll upgrade one of my Merlins that I get from like the free fly events. You know what I'm talking about? 30 bucks. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, and that's the regular Fury. Then you go to Fury MX. Oh, it's got a different. Okay. I got you. It's got a little bit different of a page. 20 missiles. Let's go. And it looks like all of this is all the same. I don't need to reread that. All right, let's go back up to the top. 